Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Look at this. Isn't this an adorable um, picture? Mother, daughter, what am I talking about? A son, daughter picture. This is, of course, Ray Fisher and Karen um, Bryson, who actually played a an son and mother in the Justice League movie. And, of course, Karen um, came out of the woodwork when she claimed she wasn't paid or she didn't know. I think she was paid, but she didn't get credit for her work on Justice League because, of course, we never, ever saw her, did we? So if there ever is, hopefully, a Snyder Cut version of the Justice League, we will see Karen. She's been great, hasn't she? Absolutely fantastic. But they're not really what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the Snyder Cut movement. Has it made a difference? We have become bigger, bigger and bigger. We are getting write-ups by so many different journalists, small-time journalists, big-time journalists like on the Washington Post. So that element has been successful. More people in mainstream journalism are talking about the movement. But in terms of Warner Brothers, what difference has that actually made? Now, that it's kind of um, a blind question because we don't know how Warner Brothers are looking at this. We, they definitely know we're here. Uh, we know that the movement are going to start a, a, another letter writing campaign to the new CEO um, and sign off, which is very interesting, of course. And I think it's a good move. But in terms of Warner Brothers, have we changed their mind? Have they ever sat down and said, maybe we should get in touch with Zach? Maybe we should release this thing. Now, earlier this week, um, when they were unplugging HBO Max, they, sh they showed a clip from the theatrical cut of Justice League. That's not good. That's not good at all because that kind of shows where they are. Um, obviously, they could have showed a clip from part of Zack's movie, but they didn't do that. They were never going to do that. Um, but that, for me, is slightly worrying. But what I want to ask today is, have we changed their thinking? Are they there saying, you know what, let's be patient here. Let's release it when we're ready. Let the hype train keep on going. Or are they saying, you know what, we're not releasing this thing. We're done with Snyder. We're not going to show this thing, no matter what they do, what they say. Is it even worth our while? Well, I suppose we'll never know if their thinking has changed unless they come out publicly. They have never come out and said there's not a Snyder Cut. Right, they tried to do that hit piece with um, Ben Fritz, which didn't work, and they were certainly behind that. But it kind of worked for a little while. I think our hopes were down. We felt down, but we rose up again, and, and it's been absolutely fantastic how um, relentless the movement is. And I, I love that about this movement. But we really have to think about this. What difference have we actually made in terms of Warner Brothers thinking? Now, there's with HBO Max, there's an opportunity for them via the Snyder Cut to make some money here, to get a few people that maybe wouldn't have subscribed to the service to subscribe to the service. I'm sure everyone who's part of the Snyder Cut movement has got a 4K version of Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and the other DCEU movies. I've got a copy of Justice League, the theatrical cut. I'm not going to lie. And I have promised, once the Snyder Cut is announced and it's going to be released, hoping that happens one day, I will come here on my video and I will snap it in two. I will absolutely do that. I've even got a version on Prime Video. I even bought kind of a digital copy as well. Because I'm very loyal to the DCEU. And I know a lot of people were saying, don't buy it. Show them that it hasn't made any money. But I couldn't. I need every film that's part of this franchise because I love this franchise. Superman's in it. It isn't the best version of Superman, but you know what? We still see Superman. He's still a hero and he's still using his powers. But we know, we know the superior version of this film is the Snyder Cut. But as I say, this movement is great and everything and we've grown and grown and grown. And even people who don't like Snyder have come on our side and that's great. They've seen what Sack suffered. They saw that his daughter killed herself, right? And they know that what Kevin Sujihara did was disgusting. You go and grieve, mate. Right, Joss, get in here. Right, I want you to change this geezer's fucking film and marvelize it, right? 
Despicable behaviour, we know that. But Sujihara is gone. Histrionics are not going to work here. Trying to um, come out and talk negatively about Walter Hamada and his plans for the future are not going to help us. You know, these things, you know, trying to make future DCEU movies not make money because you think they're going to release the Snyder Cut and bring back Zack Snyder. That is not going to happen. Because the truth of the matter is, the mainstream audience like Wonder Woman, love Aquaman, love Shazam. So what they're doing, and there's a lot of buzz with the Joker movie, which is totally what, what Walter Hamada has come up with. And Todd Phillips, of course, it was his idea to, to have a black label. So I think histrionics in trying to destroy the current franchise are clearly not going to work. As soon as, as soon as Shazam was released, they pretty much decided they were going to do a Black Adam movie and a Shazam 2. So they're undeterred because they've got the mainstream audience on the hook now. So this is all very interesting to think about their thinking. But in terms of HBO Max and for them to actually get some customers here and get some extra subscriptions, I have no doubt that HBO Max will be very successful. I know Disney fans and Disney media are trying to say that Disney Plus is cheaper and Netflix is cheaper. But HBO Max's content is going to be so much more varied than Netflix and Disney Plus. Disney Plus is a fam Disney is a family platform. Warner Brothers isn't. Warner Brothers is for children, adults. It's got a bit of everything for everyone, right? So that's why it's it's going to be a lot larger than Disney. It's going to be a lot larger than Netflix. There's no question about that. But they do have an opportunity here via HBO Max to get get us to subscribe to their channel. And I think they'd be absolutely stupid not to do that. But of course, it all depends on their thinking. Are they going to be stubborn and, you know, sink their feet in the ground about this and not allow this film to come out? Never admit it exists when we know it damn well exists now. I think they have to release it for their own PR, for their own marketing. Release this film. Have it part of this DCEU that's so unique in storytelling and it's so visionary, right? Why not have a real Justice League movie that we can all be proud of, that Zack can move on, we can move on and continue to support this franchise and have a great movie? I, now, a lot of people are saying this is a three and a half movie, hour movie, four and hour movie. I don't believe we will, we will get a three and a half hour version of the Snyder Cut. I don't believe that. But I do believe we could at least get the same length as Batman v Superman, the Ultimate Edition, three hours. I think we could get that. I don't think we're going to get the whole thing. I don't. I think eventually we'll get it on Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, and those extra scenes will be there. But I think there's a lot of footage, and a three hour epic Justice League is what we want. So I think it's... Right, that Anne Sarnoff continues her internal investigation into what went wrong, which she's doing. She's look, you know, as a new um, CEO, you would be doing this anyway. This is not breaking the fourth wall. She'll be looking at a lot of projects that haven't worked out for Warner Brothers and having an internal investigation. And Justice League is one of them because any CEO who's coming when things haven't been going so well needs to find out what the company has been doing wrong. So I think the internal investigation is very important and she'll be talking to everyone, including Zack Snyder. But I don't see what the big deal is about releasing the Snyder Cut on, on HBO Max, of course, only available to the US. So Netflix could have the international rights to that as well. So that would be a win for Netflix and a win for Warner Brothers. And the whole world's going to say, hang on a minute here. Hang on a minute here. Warner Brothers care about the fans. Warner Brothers didn't have to release this, but in the end, they did the right thing. Now, when you look at how Disney treated the fans after the reaction to The Last Jedi, really, we got nothing back from them, apart from accusing us of being racist, sexist. And for me, the representation issue and the far left politics in that film were never an issue for me. For me, it's a, a mediocre, boring Star Wars film. In fact, I think it's the most boring Star Wars film I've ever seen. And I was very underwhelmed by it. That's my issue with The Last Jedi. But instead of admitting their mistakes, instead of admitting Ryan Johnson's mistakes, they went 
on the offensive and blame the fans. We're your customers. And it's the same with Warner Brothers. We are your customers, your present customers, your future customers. The decision you make with the Snyder Cut will affect you for the next 20 or 30 years. Are you a studio who listens to your customer? Or are you going to be like the rest of Hollywood who says, you're going to eat what we feed you? That's up to Warner Brothers. But for me, it makes absolutely perfect sense to release this film on HBO Max, show the people who put money in your coppers, right, that you care. You care about the kind of content, right? And I think, that, as I say, it's, it's logical to put this film on HBO Max. And I hope that's what happens. We deserve to see the real Justice League, Zack's real vision. Everyone does. And I think everyone, even the people who hate the DCEU and Snyder, are intrigued about what this film is. We've uncovered, thanks to Zack Snyder, you know, he's integrated this movement by being honest about what the film was going to be. And I really appreciate him for that. And he's helped. He's helped eventually get this movie out because the more he reveals, the more people want to see this film. So I want you to tell me what you think about what I'm saying. What do you think? Are we making a difference? Are Warner Brothers taking notice? Are they, dis are they falling out on the concept of releasing this film? Or are they just saying, you know what? We ain't releasing this film. We're not going to release this film. We're moving on with the DCEU. We're moving on with the Black Label and just let them keep on talking about us. Let me know what you think about that. Do you know what? I'm really excited about the Joker movie. You may have got a hint of that from my other videos. I'm just fascinated to see if people are going to enjoy this film as much as I did. I genuinely believe that this film is going to be a game changer. And I'm just so excited to find out what people think about this movie. How is it going to do in the box office? How are people going to, you know, think about this Joker origin tale? This is really important. Because if this film does well, the black label begins. And if it doesn't, it won't. It will be very interesting what the, you know, what the highbrow critics think about this. Because the highbrow critics here are going to be the ones who make or break this movie. John Campier, his opinion won't matter. No, these are small time people. But we're talking about the highbrow critics, the ones who have been bred on great movies, on great content, not been bred on the MCU and Disney, right? So very important what happens as far as I'm concerned with those critics. I'm hoping and I'm praying that this film is a success because if this film is a success, studios are going to want to make more real movies, less green screen movies, raw movies that mean something. This is a movie about mental health commentary. This is about the Joker, one of the most popular characters in comic book history. Get this right and the game really does change.